Welcome to this CompNow and Fortinet webinar. My name is Max Douglas. I am one of the senior systems engineers here at CompNow. Today I am joined by Fortinet's Nick Henderson to learn more about Fortinet's secure SD-WAN solution. Today we'll have a discussion around secure SD-WAN and finish it off with a short demo. Hi Nick, thanks for joining us today. Can you describe some of the challenges that organizations are facing? Yeah, thanks for having me, Max. Um, architectural complexity. This leads to weak security posture. Uh, can lead to poor user experience as well, um, as well as difficulty in troubleshooting. Absolutely, multiple uh, vendors. That's exactly right. Uh, and obviously this becomes expensive to support um, across multiple point products. Yep. So as we see in the news regularly, security is key to any size business. How do we design security to protect users but not get in the way of impacting user experience? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, we see from our experience is that it's really important to design for both network and security. Yeah. So at Fortinet, we have the FortiGate, which allows that combination of networking and security, security function in yep. into that one unit. Um, through one OS, it can do intelligent traffic steering, as well as provide that next generation uh, security uh, that all enterprise customers need. Is there anything in most common enterprise environments we should be looking out for in terms of red flags for security? Yeah, complexity is a really big flag. Uh, so if you look at uh, analysts like Gartner, yep. they're recommending a consolidation of uh, not only vendors but platforms as well. And by consolidating into a single vendor, it removes a lot of complexity within networks. Yeah, that's right. It also increases visibility across the entire attack surface inside an organization, but giving that single platform that customers can log on to and see their entire network. Yep, is very helpful. Yeah, that's exactly right. Cool. So now that we've gone through why protection is awesome, what sort of data and analytics can we expect to get out of the Fortinet ecosystem? Yeah, so the Fortinet security fabric provides real-time security analytics, as well as application-level information. Um, it uses this information to create dynamic steering profiles uh, on our FortiGates um, and allows customers to report on what the network is doing at that point in time as well as what it has been doing historically as well. You, know, you can look at this data in real time like I mentioned before or you can pull down any reports that are pre-canned uh, on our analyzer appliance. Yep, and this is in a single, glane of, single pane of glass solution? That yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it's a, a single pane of glass. So through the SOC management platform known as 40 Manager, and that yep. can hook back into 40 Analyzer, so everything can be done from that single pane. Yep, one solution, one vendor. That's yep. awesome. That, that's exactly right. Thanks, Nick. I think it'd be great to see a demo of this. Could you possibly set the scene on what the environment would look like? Yeah, Max, no worries. So I've spun up a demo environment, uh, and I've drawn a network diagram just to sort of help explain what we've got going on in the yep. environment here. So in the middle here, um, you know, we've got redundant broadband for enterprise branches. So two ISPs providing separate carriage links into two branches over here, and then they're connecting back into a hub. Yep. There is actually another hub in the scenario. I'm just leaving it out for from simplicity. here, but we yep. do support dual hub uh, yep. as well. So you can see here that there's the underlay links uh, in red, and then we have overlay links. So we actually have uh, AD VPN as well. So this is a full mesh VPN yep. network. So it's set up as like a hub and spoke, but it's going to function practically as a full mesh solution. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's awesome. Without having to create all that full mesh configuration yep. on those end devices. Yep. Makes the configuration a lot simpler, less complexity. That's right. And I think what's really important in the solution as well is we're doing inspection around these areas as well. Yes. So both on-premise closest to the source Yep. And we can inspect in uh, each of the hubs as well. Yep, cool. So here we have the SD-WAN zones on the FortiGate. And we've split these out into underlay and overlay. You can see there, there's the yep. hub that I was talking about before. We can ca see some current live statistics on those interfaces. Yep, traffic going download through. Speed. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, as well as using these uh, diagrams up here to show bandwidth, volume, or sessions as well. If we jump over into the SD-WAN rules, this is really the intelligence behind SD-WAN on a FortiGate. So these rules here are going to dictate how the FortiGate is going to steer traffic. I see. Yep. Which port for the traffic to go through. Yep, yep. that's right. Uh, underlays and overlays can be separate interfaces uh, or ports, and we can base this on source, destinations, and this could be applications as well. 
So we can see here the active links have yep. a nice tick next Black to tick. them. And we can highlight over that to get a little bit of information on uh, this particular interface at the moment, including the performance SLAs that you can see just down the bottom there. If we want some detailed information on the performance SLAs, we can jump over into this link just here. I see, and we'll show the criteria of all the links. Yep, that's right, and, and the status set, a quick snapshot, and then we can identify these by packet loss, latency, and jitter here as well. Now, as you can see, we're actually monitoring both internal and external servers here. So we're monitoring these external servers for the underlay, and we're monitoring back over uh, the overlays, so we get real information on those. That's circuits. awesome. You get the, the you get the same abilities irrespective if it's an underlay or overlay. Connection. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. So if we jump over into the policies and objects now, we can see the next generation firewall capabilities of the Forty Gate. So we did see the traffic steering. Now we see the security aspect. Really important part of any enterprise network is being able to inspect that traffic closest to the source of that user. Yep. That way you're not chewing up any bandwidth or wasting yep. bandwidth not by calling data. Yep. Exactly right. So here we have direct internet access. Uh, typical firewall policy you'll see, but we're applying our inspection profile. So antivirus, web application filtering, application control, and we're doing SSL. inspection as well. Yep. Sandy, you can also see the amount of data that's going through the firewall policy. Yep, that's exactly right. And while you're in here, you can also uh, get some quick information around filtering, clearing statistics, and you can even pivot directly to logs here as well. Cool, that's very handy. Nice uh, interface to allow consistent uh, views through the network. Every 40 gate device looks exactly the same, and we can get uh, detailed information on what's going on on the network with a couple of clicks. Yep. And drill down into this as well. We can select different filters across here. You can see here that we're logging all of the application information in here as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some latency or packet loss into the network. Yep. We'll start off with some packet loss, and if we jump over into the log view, we're going to have a look at some real-time logs just so we can understand what's going on. What the scenario at the moment is with the network. That's yep. exactly right. And then how the 40 gate handles that traffic. Yep. So we can see that these are the SD-WAN rule names here, and these are the destination interfaces. So this is the, the interface that the 40 gate is currently forwarding the traffic. traffic out. Yep. And also see the application names here, which is quite important, because if you remember from our rules that we have on here, the SD-WAN rules, we're actually steering traffic based on what it is. So maybe basis. one of our links that I showed earlier is an expensive link. Maybe one's a bit cheaper, so we prefer to use that. Maybe one doesn't have as much bandwidth. It could be uh, one is fixed line, yep. one is a mobile network. Yep. Perhaps one's got better latency to a certain service. That's exactly right. Speaking of latency, that's one of the criteria that we're actually monitoring on. Uh, so I've now introduced some packet loss into uh, the network. So if we have a look under these performance SLAs, you can see that the VPN tunnels over uh, link one have gone down to ISP one, and the WAN one interface has also gone down. Now, if we now move over to the SD-WAN rules, we'll see that the interface selection has actually yes, changed the text over. changed. So yep. it's dynamically changed the interface without us having to do anything, yep. without any technical people having to jump on and make changes on the device. Yep, cool. If we go back to our um, analyzer appliance, we can see now that the destination port for all those applications has changed two. over. So we didn't have to touch anything. It did this automatically. Completely seamless. It also self-heals. So when that network is restored back to normal functionality, it will move that traffic yep. back across to that. Whichever one's link. the best criteria. That's exactly right. We've now removed packet loss from the system. So if we go back over to our SD-WAN rules, we'll start seeing some changes. There we go. Yep. It's changed over already. So automatically to port one. Port one is being used. This link still hasn't been moved over. The tunnel is probably still establishing. We can check that in a second. But if we have a look at the performance SLAs, we can see that these are slowly coming down. Now, the reason that they're still marked in red is these performance SLAs are set to a value, and these are outside of that value. Yep. That's yep. tunable inside any environment. Yep. It's not within the compliance. 
Yep. Yep. That's exactly right. So whatever the compliance is within the company, uh, their requirements, they can edit yep, these. Yep. They can tune it. Yep. And now we can see that traffic's moved back. So if we now jump into the 40 manager, this is a centralized management component of the fabric. So this allows not only centralized management of all of the devices, so both of those branches and the hub, as well as yep. the cloud device, which you can see just on here. So I've got branch one and two. We've got a cloud gateway. So that's a 40 gate sitting in public cloud, yep. uh, as well as hub one and two. And they could be sitting in private data center or in a head office somewhere. Yep. The location doesn't matter. But we can manage these from the central console. This central console also allows zero touch provisioning. So zero touch provisioning is a way of pushing down configuration from this appliance yep. to a 40 gate, 40 gate. out on the field. Yep. That's awesome. So could we potentially use that in a situation where we have a customer that needs to move to provision an office very quickly? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So you could use zero touch provisioning to pre-configure the device on the 40 manager. It can push the configuration down to the device when it comes online, which comes to another point around a site coming up quickly. Uh, they may not be able to get fixed line. Yep, so you can use that. mobile to connect the 40 gate to the network, so LTE, yep. 4G or 5G. Yep, very easy to get. Exactly yep. right. The 40 gate will connect, pull all its configuration down, that site comes online, they have SD-WAN capabilities, and they're inspecting yep. all their traffic. A secure network, network, very simply. That's right. And if we go now over to 40 view, there's some handy monitors in here showing secure SD-WAN. So this secure SD-WAN monitor here, has a lot of widgets that gives real-time information on what's going on on all devices on, uh, on, on the fabric. Like. And then there's a just an SD-WAN summary here, and they can all be filtered down as well. Yep, per device. That's cool. CobNow is an advanced Fortinet partner and has engineers across Australia, such as myself, who can assist with Fortinet solutions just like the one you've seen today. I'm hearing the acronym in ZTNA more and more across nearly every project that I'm on. Can you explain for the audience what ZTNA is and how it can benefit? Yeah, sure. So ZTNA, or Zero Trust N Network Access, provides explicit access to applications based on continuous validation uh, of the user identity. So this means that users can work from anywhere around the world and yep. still access those important applications that they need uh, to uh, perform their jobs or perform their tasks, but it also allows them to access only the applications that they're permitted to. So if you think about a traditional VPN, yeah, user has to connect to that, they then often have full access to, to all of the applications yep. or the entire network. So that decreases security. the security yep. posture of that network. With ZTNA, they're only being presented the applications. They don't have to connect to the full network. Yep. And only those users that are permitted to access that application are can access to. it. That's really cool. One component of ZTNA, but there's a lot more to talk about. So maybe we should think about doing another one of these. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, Nick, for all that fantastic info today. Not a problem. Thanks for having me. No worries. ComNow provides IT built for you. If you would like to know more, please get in touch with your ComNow account manager or email us at info at